Imagine a world gradually fading into a sea of gray, that was John's reality. In the prime of his life, John was a man of robust health until the day he found himself in unfamiliar territory. He woke up to a world that was becoming dimmer, its vibrant colors and sharp details steadily blurring into obscurity. His world was transforming, and he was at the center of this unsettling metamorphosis. John's first encounter with vision loss was both unexpected and alarming. It started subtly, a slight distortion in his central vision that he initially shrugged off as mere eye strain. But as days turned into weeks the distortion became more prominent. His once sharp and clear vision was steadily deteriorating, plunging him into a sea of confusion and fear. As he grappled with his rapidly changing reality, John sought medical advice, hoping for answers. The diagnosis was as baffling as it was rare. Stargardt's disease. A genetic disorder that affects the macula, the area of the retina responsible for sharp, detailed central vision. As he heard the words, John couldn't help but feel a shiver of apprehension ripple through him. Stargardt's disease, a name as unfamiliar as the symptoms he was experiencing, was now a part of his life. This condition was causing his world to dim, the vibrant colors of life gradually fading into an ever-encroaching gray. It was a relentless, unseen darkness that was slowly claiming his vision. But what exactly is this disease? In simple terms, Stargardt's disease is a form of macular degeneration that predominantly affects young individuals causing progressive vision loss. It's a journey into the unknown, a labyrinth of medical complexities that we will unravel together in this narrative. John's world was changing, and the journey had just begun. As we delve deeper into this intriguing tale, we will explore not just the medical intricacies of Stargardt's disease, but also the human aspect of it. We'll bear witness to John's struggles, his resilience, and his relentless pursuit of answers. So, join us as we navigate the unseen darkness of the strange case of disappearing vision. The day John got his diagnosis, the world stopped spinning for a moment. The journey towards diagnosis was a labyrinth of medical tests, a quest for answers in the dark. Each test brought John closer to an understanding, yet also nudged him toward a reality that he was not ready to face. His first encounter was with electroretinography, a procedure that measures the electrical responses of various cell types in the retina. It was like a symphony of light and dark, with electrodes translating his sight into data, into something that could be understood. Next, he was introduced to optical coherence tomography, a non-invasive imaging test that uses light waves to take cross-section pictures of the retina. It felt like a voyage into the unknown, with the machine mapping the landscape of his eye, charting the unseen territory of his vision loss. Then came the moment of revelation. The doctor, with a somber expression and a heavy sigh, uttered a word that would change John's life forever, Stargardt's. A genetic disorder that affects the macula, the part of the eye responsible for sharp central vision. The culprit behind his vanishing sight. Stargardt's disease, the doctor explained, is a rare form of inherited juvenile macular degeneration that causes progressive vision loss to the point of legal blindness. It was like a cruel joke of genetics, a faulty gene passed down through generations, lying dormant until it decided to reveal itself in John. The doctor's words echoed in the room, each syllable a stark reminder of the reality John was facing. His vision was not just disappearing, it was being stolen by a condition that had claimed residence in his very genes. But the diagnosis was more than just a label. It was an explanation, a reason behind the perplexing symptoms that had been clouding his life. It was a starting point, a marker on the map of his journey, guiding him towards the next steps he needed to take. With a name to his condition, John was now facing an uncertain future. Everyday tasks became Herculean challenges for John. Suddenly, things we often take for granted, like reading a book, recognizing faces, or even just stepping outside on a sunny day, became mountains for him to climb. The world as he knew it, full of vibrant colors and sharp details, was gradually blurring into an indistinct haze. Stargardt's disease, a relentless thief, was robbing John of his vision, transforming his daily life into a labyrinth of obstacles. As the disease progressed, his central vision deteriorated, leaving only a narrow periphery. Imagine looking at the world through a straw. The edges of your vision are clear, but the center, where your focus naturally falls, is a blur, a void. To make matters worse, Stargardt's disease is a deceitful adversary. It often leaves the sufferer with enough vision to make their blindness invisible to others. It's a cruel irony that those with Stargardt's disease can see others, but others can't see their struggle. This is the unseen battle that John fights each day. 
John had to learn new ways to navigate his world. Reading required the aid of electronic magnifiers. Walking became a delicate dance of caution and courage. And yet despite these challenges, John remained undeterred. He had to adapt and improvise, but he refused to surrender. His life was irrevocably changed, yet he found ways to adjust. He developed techniques to compensate for his vision loss, like relying more heavily on his peripheral vision and other senses, and using adaptive technology to assist with reading and other tasks. His world might have been fading, but his resolve was not. In the face of adversity, John discovered a resilience he never knew he possessed. The challenges brought by Stargard's disease were immense, but they were not insurmountable. With every passing day, he became more adept at navigating his new reality. His journey is a testament to the indomitable human spirit, a beacon of hope for others facing similar trials. John's strength was tested, but he was not defeated. His story serves as a poignant reminder that while Stargard's disease may steal one's vision, it cannot dim the light of determination that shines within. No matter how dark the world may seem, there is always a way to move forward. John found strength in adaptation, as his world dimmed, John discovered that life, much like a river, finds a way to flow around obstacles. His coping mechanisms became his new guiding light, illuminating a path forward amidst the encroaching darkness. Firstly, assistive technology played a vital role. John embraced tools designed for individuals living with vision loss. Text-to-speech software transformed written words into spoken ones, allowing him to continue his love for literature. Screen readers and magnification apps made it possible for him to use his computer and smartphone. Braille, a system of raised dots representing letters, became his new language. Simple yet ingenious, it opened up a world of possibilities for him. Lifestyle adjustments were equally important. John learned to use his other senses to compensate for his vision loss. He began to rely more on his sense of touch, hearing, and even smell. This was not just about survival, but about truly living. He learned to cook by feel and smell, to identify people by their voices, and to navigate his home by memory and touch. He even took up piano, finding joy in the music he could create. However, it was the unwavering support from his family that truly made a difference. They stood by him, their love and encouragement a beacon in his darkest moments. They learned braille with him, adjusted their home for his convenience, and even ran marathons with him to raise awareness about Stargardt's disease. Their resilience and optimism reminded him that life was not just about seeing, but about feeling, experiencing, and connecting. John's journey was not easy. Each day brought new challenges, but also new victories. He was not just coping, he was thriving. He was not merely surviving, he was living. Despite the darkness, he found ways to shine. His story is a testament to the power of the human spirit, an inspiring reminder that challenges can be overcome and life can be lived fully, even in the face of adversity. John was learning to navigate his world anew. His vision might have been fading, but his spirit, his resilience, and his will to live remained unbroken. His story continues to inspire, reminding us all that even in darkness, there is always a way to find the light. In the face of adversity, hope shines the brightest. This statement rings true for John and countless others grappling with Stargardt's disease. The medical world is ceaselessly working researching, and innovating to turn the tide for these patients. And indeed, there are glimmers of hope on the horizon. Let's delve into the world of vision restoration therapies, the beacon of light in the seemingly endless darkness. These therapies, still in their nascent stages, hold the potential to transform lives, to bring back the colors and contours that have faded into oblivion. One area of research that's been generating buzz is stem cell therapy. It's a revolutionary approach that involves replacing damaged cells in the macula with healthy ones. This could potentially restore the lost central vision, a feat that was unthinkable until recently. Then there's gene therapy. As Stargardt's is a genetic disorder, it makes sense to strike at the root. This therapy aims to correct the faulty ABCA4 gene that causes this disease. It's like rewriting the code of life, and if successful, it could stop the disease in its tracks. Another exciting development is the bionic eye. This high-tech solution involves implanting a device that can bypass the damaged retina and send visual information directly to the brain. It's like giving the eyes a second chance to see the world anew. These advancements paint a hopeful picture, but they're not without challenges. They're still being tested for safety and effectiveness. 
yet they offer hope, a precious commodity for those living in the shadow of star guards. In the grand scheme of things, these developments are a testament to human resilience and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. They embody the spirit of hope, one that refuses to bow down to adversity, one that envisions a world where diseases like Stargarts are but a blip in the annals of medical history. John's journey continues, but with the promise of a brighter future. A future where he might once again witness the world in all its vibrant glory. A future where darkness gives way to light. A future filled with hope, 